start recording. And hey, what's up, guys? It's Pink Pony here, and I'm gonna show you my 100, well, over 100 mil PK bank tab. And I got that money from PKing, obviously, but with this welfare setup. You know, it's very basic gear anyone can get with, you know, a decent range level and low defense level. And I just got over 100 mil with this setup. It's just a welfare setup. And I'm going to kind of go through how I got all these PKs and what you should do and what stats you should have. So to start off, I'd say 99 range is absolutely essential for this welfare setup because I'm using range, obviously. Archer Helm, Black Dehyde Set, Rune Crossbow, Dragon Bolts E, Rune Kite Shield. I'm using Rune Kite Shield because I also have 70 defense, and that's complemented by 74 prayer to use Rigor. So, Rigor gives you a huge boost in your defense and range attack and range damage, so it's really, really good. So that's why I got my 70 defense, and that's why I'm wearing a rune kite, because it kind of helps you not be so squished you just get murked all day, every day. And I like this setup. It works for me. So to start off, I'll show you my bank. Currently sitting at 10 mil. Um, that's just cash I got from you know people from their fire caves, dragon defenders, barrels, gloves, etc. And here's the PK tab right here try this out 38 emblems not too many uh, 110 dragon skims bunch of granite malls handful of dragon daggers 66 dragon boots my goal is to get 100 so I'm not gonna sell them till I get 100 dragon boots um, 168 rune boots some rock shell legs berserker helms helm of neziot we got zamrock god sword Two Armidal God Swords. Let's see. I'm just going to go over the most expensive items first to see what we're at. Should be over 100 mil. Bunch of arrows just from killing rangers all the time. Twirex Plate Legs. Some Darox sets. Let's see what else we got. Warriors Ring. It's only one, not worth taking out. Let's see. I sold all my Berserker Rings and Furies earlier. Got the Elder Maul PK. I guess we could drag out a few items since we got space. Oh yeah, and then Rune Plate Legs. Spear Shield, might as well bring that out. This probably adds up decently. Let's see what else should we bring out. Might as well get the Warrior's Ring. Bandos Chaps. Alright, let's see what we got. 151 mil. So Dragon Boots, 66 of them is 15 mil. 6 mil worth of daggers. 4 mil with granite mauls. 6 mil Berserker Helms. 3 mil Neziat Helms. 2 AGSs. Uh, almost 2 mil with just Amist Arrows alone. That's crazy. Darox set. Elder Maul, 45 mil. Let's see. Room Plate Legs, 500k. So yeah. Anyways, this BK tab took me about a little over a month to get this stuff. I did PK a few more AGSs and like a 40 mil PK on a rusher, but I gave that money to my main because he was struggling so I've probably PK'd about 250 mil total within two months with just this gear right here that's it dead serious just this now sometimes I would get dragon arrows and use my dark bow for a special and it did get me some kills it got me one of my AGS's I smited him with a 40-40 Debo spec so if you want, you can use this combo as well. However, I don't like it as much because the Debo specs rarely hit. Oh yeah, and the 10 mil from cash. I forgot to add that. But 
Yeah, the dark bow specs, if anybody's a pure PKer and uses dark bow, you'll notice it rarely hits people. It's annoying. But when it does, sometimes you can get really good KOs like 40-40s and so on. So yeah, um, basically, I guess I'll show you a, a trip right now, a PK trip. Show you what I do and how I get kills. Basically, you just um, camp your rune crossbow. You know, try to hit hard as fuck with your uh, D bolt specs and D bolts. I hit up the max I've hit so far with this setup is 63, and that's really hard. So that's a really good hit for this gear. Let's see here, we're going to use this. Go to world 18. And all of my PKs... Oh, damn it. Jagex. But all of my PKs have... Uh, all of my AGS PKs have been in world 25 for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. But world 25 seems to be the high loot PK area for me. Alright. So we got my gear ring and recoil. My debolt camp. Prayer potions, ranging potion, and venge. You definitely need venge for the setup. You cannot PK without having venge. That's essential. Because pretty much what you do is you just fight people, you hit hard, and when you notice you hit a high hit and they're about to hit you, you just hit Venge, and hopefully they hit hard on you, and then you'll kill them. I say pew pew all the time. Some people might know me. Some people ask for no smite. Usually I smite, but I'll be nice today. He's about, he was going to spec me if I would have hit. Now he's going to... If he would have hit, I would have died. But he would have died as well. I don't save too much, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, there it is. Just got destroyed. Should have ate. But, you know. Go to world 25. Maybe we'll get a AGS PK on record. I could have ate and easily lived that. Because he obviously was going to spec and Gmall switch. But I figured maybe he won't hit 43 on me. And then I'll hit hard and kill him. Because when you risk like that, it's kind of like high risk, high reward. Since you're not risking too much loot, dying's not really a big deal. So if you like risk your health and get the kill it's kind of worth it because they risk a lot more than you do a lot of people hate on this setup because it's welfare and you know they just hate on it because it's like noob or whatever but hey if you're out to make money from PKing this works quite well let's do this again and this time I'll eat a little more instead of not safe and this guy looks like a rusher I'm just gonna attack him anyways 284. Wow. Big speed drop. Ah, oh, if only he was AFK. He's going to turn and spec me. Let's see if we can kill him. Nope. He's going to tab now. God damn. Fucking. Jesus. These claws. What's up with this guy? He's going to tab now. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Anyways, there's a tab. Yeah, I rushed her like that. I got a 50 mil PK off it. They rushed me for no reason. He hit a like 50 AGS spec on me on my Venge. I turned, hit a 60 on him with a D-bolt proc, and he just fell over dead. I got a uh, Bandos Tacit and the Bandos Leg Piece. Can't remember the name of it. 
And he had a Din's Bulwark, a Whip, and a Black Mask on him as well. Don't know why, but ended up being around 50 mil. Oh, and Berserkering Fury. So everybody was laughing their ass off. Oh, this guy wants to fight. He's just going for it. He's probably going to tab. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't got my prayer on. Huh. This, this guy is fucking destroying me. He's risking, uh... He's risking his freaking ballista, though. Wow. Wrecked. Yeah, that'll happen. It's the RNG of RuneScape right there. I'm going to try one more, show you guys a good PK, hopefully. The nice thing about World 25 as well is almost anyone will fight you just because. By the way, with this setup, um, for me personally, I kind of have really bad luck in this game with RNG. I die a lot, so... If you notice, I can gear up almost instantly because I've had practice dying over and over and over and over. So it's kind of funny. Maybe we should try to kill that guy again. Anyways. Yeah, I die a lot. It's just my luck in RuneScape. But I tend to have luck where I'll die 30 times a day. Then the next day, I'll just PK an AGS so it makes up for all my deaths. So my luck's bad and good. And also with this setup, if you die constantly, um, you don't lose too much money. So the more you PK, the more chances you get at getting a bank loot like I have a few times. So, let's see. I like to fight melee guys the most. Because they hit harder than ranged, unless he's camping ballista. I'm just going to skull on this guy. Sorry, bro. So, oh shit! Nah, I don't want to fight this guy, but he's pissed at me now. Oh shit! Let's fight that guy. Ah, oh, damn it! All right, fine. I'll fight you. Damn. He's gonna spec me. See, look at that. 8-8. Eight, eight. That's the classic Debo spec right there. 8-8, eight, 90% eight, of the time. I'm not anti-fired up, so... And he has an army Sibo. He might destroy me. Let's see. Nope. Alright, hit me. Ooh, we might get him. Nope. It's close. So usually, if you see a big XP drop, I'm going to wait for my Venge. If I see a big XP drop, I'm just going to hit my Venge. And if he hits on it, he'll hopefully die. But he has his Venge. I'll wait. Alright, now if I see a good XP drop, I'll Venge. And that's how you get your kills. And hopefully he hits. Although... Right there. He didn't hit though. And I hit really bad after it as well. That might be dead. Yep. There it is. If you just camp that Debo... Or not Debo, my bad. If you camp the rune Sibo, you'll get hits like that every now and then. And then they KO people. That was an okay PK, not much loot. But And with this setup, 
I recommend taking as much loot as you can because it really all adds up on in the end. Like I'll show you an example. Loot everything. For instance, these mana rays, dark crabs, and right here, the potions. I've just been looting all of them every time I get a PK, and it's up to a lot of money now. Let's see how much the potions are alone. Check the mana rays and dark crabs. Now the potions alone are 1.6 mil. Let's check the uh, mana rays and dark crabs. Almost 700k. And that's just over time. So that's pretty decent loot. Well, that's just a small quick tip, PK tip from Pink Pony. I'll see you guys out in the wildy. And here's my trademark. Pew, pew, pew. Later, guys.